Have you ever wondered to yourself why we get so triggered when someone tries our favorite anime or manga or even Pixar movie? Yahweh even. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure you get what I mean by that question, but but let me ask you that question in a different way. Have you ever wondered why when someone says DBZ has no story, JoJo parts after 4 aren't as good as the earlier parts, Attack on Titan is overrated, Toy Stories 1 is the only good Toy Story? What makes our amygdala stimulate then our hypothalamus fill with anger and say someone is incredibly wrong? and they should catch the next train to Walmart or be sent to the planet Namek right before it explodes and the best question of all have you never seen Toy Story 2? Actually I know one better they should just get <laughs> In this video, I'll try to explain why we get so triggered by someone trying our favorite anime with science probably, with relatable experiences or examples, whatever else I need. But I'm Lamont and let's launch right into it with the first one cause they're obviously wrong. Like yeah, they're obviously wrong. Now it's time for the next one, which... We've grown to love said show for some reason. Maybe we really relate to the character, which I'll get into that later. Maybe the show brings us joy, it opens our eyes, and teaches us something new. Like with Naruto in the Pain arc, when Pain said, one thing everyone relates or can share with one another is pain, which can be true in a lot of cases, cause we can also share joy for something like anime or a movie. But love, more importantly, Barbara Fredrickson's meaning for love, not the one that involves another person like your partner or family members, but instead the moment's moments. We have have with these people but instead relating to the people we can relate moments to anime by maybe you watched a show with your sibling or parent that connects you with that person and show by love she writes we were born to love so much so that our brains and nervous systems goes out of our way to love how many times have you seen a nicest character in a show maybe sheen from a comedy i kill completely nice and sweet and we instantly fall in love with her or maybe the bad boy character like bakigo we love him because he's a bad and we maybe feel this connection with them which Barbara calls feeling synced up. Now this brings me to my next thing, which is... mirror mirror or seeing ourselves in fictional characters because we can relate like naruto being an outcast because of the demon in his stomach how many of us are you've been outcast because maybe you were different maybe you liked anime maybe something then found it very difficult to have friends or another one maybe you're super powerful because you draw power from the sun and that makes you an overprided person that has no chill that can't even have lesser beings standing over them or him who else can relate to escanor me just kidding but jokes aside we grow to care for these characters because we see ourselves in them. There's a whole science behind it called mirror neurons, which can occur just by seeing something with intelligence move, like why you may stop after hitting an animal with your car, or why you may keep watching a show because anime character can't catch your break like Kazuma or Subaru. We just want to see all that hard work, well, work, similar to the person building a garden or working on their car to make it work. I know these aren't directly the same thing, but I hope you understand my analogies. But what I said can be considered mirror neurons. Also, one last thing, this is a very mild case for mirror neurons as there are five different types of mirror neurons. Now that's it on me saying mirror now. I hope. So I got three more reasons before I say them. I want to say if you're enjoying the video, subscribing to the channel would be hey, all might, would you say it? Go beyond Plus Ultra! Yeah, plus ultra. So subscribe. So the next reasoning is storytelling. How many of us were amazed by Death Note and how the anime was able to create intensity without even fighting with light, outsmarting L in the very end, even the show saying justice, but never explicitly saying what justice is, basically leaving it to the viewer? Here's a Pixar one, like finding out that Water News was actually working with Randall the whole entire time. That plot twist had me really going, to be honest with you. I mean, I was like five or seven when I seen it, but you know, it, it still got me. But let me get back to anime and the plunder, how Lick chooses to be the one who kills people so his friends don't have to, but losing who he is as time went on, becoming numb, even harming the very people he was trying to protect. Just anime has a way of just giving you a new storytelling you can't really get from anywhere else. It's just true. Lee, a different way to enjoy media. Now this includes animations in general like Pixar movies or DreamWorks, which I have tried mentioning some just so we can keep it a little bit diverse in this video so you don't feel alienated out just because I'm talking about anime. Now it's time to move on and we're going to be talking about, well,
Well, the music of anime or animation movies in general. Music and anime is just as important as the anime. Just try to imagine not hearing Overtaken while the Straw Hats walk to Arlong Park. That moment was when I officially was hooked by the show. Our Death Note not having L's theme. The music is so important. It creates a tone, brings moods, it intensifies moments. What about One Summer Day from Spirit Away? Altered scenes making it seem like they had depth when really nothing was happening. Even openings like Silhouette spoke to certain people. English or Japanese version version. Last one, could Toy Story really be the same without having a friend like me? But music makes us feel things, as research published by Nature in 2014 discovered. There's a relationship or a connection with music and certain parts of our brain that tie in with emotions. The research has found that happy music, pleasurable music, like OP1 for Fire Force, can light up our mesolimbic pathway, which gives us happiness. There's more, but I don't want to bore you, so I'll leave a link down below if you do find this interesting, just right above the like button. Anyway, what I'm trying to say, music to anime helps give us emotional connections with the characters in this show. So that's it on music and here's the last one. This one won't have science, but it will have an analogy. Have you ever sat in a class and had this imaginary fight in your head, like from Naruto or this really weird absurd moment that'll never happen like you get to shoot at your teacher for roll call like from assassination classroom? What I'm trying to say is anime takes us from reality. Sometimes it helps us letting our imagination run wild when maybe we had a bad day and we just need to get away. Or maybe we had a good day and we just need to relax. Or maybe you always had a dream of flying on top of a dragon, but you never could and when How to Train a Dragon came out, it finally gave you that itch that you probably couldn't ever really itch because, you know, dragons don't exist anymore or never at all. I don't know. I don't want to take away that from people. So anime or any TV show that has the effect to let you do that? So back to the question, why we get so triggered? Because maybe that person is offending our relaxation. Maybe they're trying our childhood friend. There's so many things they could be triggering or trying that indirectly comes back to you. So these are my reasoning why I believe you could be triggered in if I was wrong, let me know on Instagram or leave a remark down below. But I will say this, every person is different why they can be offended by someone trying their favorite animated thing. So leave a comment down below saying what's something someone can say that can really grind your gears about your favorite animated media. I know mine is when someone says Dragon Ball Z has no story when I feel and know it kind of really does have a great storyline. Now also, I'll leave a link to the articles that help create this video if you want to read them. But that's it from me. I I hope you enjoyed the video like I enjoyed making it. But if you made it this far, thank you for watching. And if you like this, then like this. And on that note, it's about time for me to space out of here.